Good evening. My, don't we look beautiful tonight? <laughs> Quite so. I wish I had dressed into something a bit more formal, but sadly, all my other clothes are being washed and dry cleaned at the moment. I'm a very messy person. <laughs> well, shall we venture into the dining room? Please, sit. Sit right next to me. Would you care for some wine? The one I'm drinking is a 300-year-old Pinot Noir. Very well. I'll pour you a glass. Drink up. Mmm, delicious, isn't it? Well, let's get this date started. As far as dinner goes, it's still being prepared. I think you'll love it. It'll be something you can't wait to... bite into. Hmm, well, it's a surprise. <laughs> so, I guess I'll introduce myself. My name is Prince Curian, heir to the Curian fortune. My family has been in uh, <clears throat> their industry for quite a long time. I believe over a thousand years. I've been in it for over 200, or I mean 20, 20, <laughs> 20 years. <laughs> yeah. I don't look like it, do I? Good genetics, I guess. Continuing on. I've lived in this huge mansion for a long time, and it's been rather lonely. That's why I'm glad you decided to come and meet me to have dinner. I've really missed a woman's presence. Why? Such soft hands you have. Mmm, your hand on my cheek. There is a special sense of comfort. One of the other sensations I miss, a woman's touch. I'm, I'm sorry. You must think I'm some sort of freak or something. I apologize. Now, I wish to know more about you. Out of all the men in the world, why would a woman as beautiful as you want to go on a date with me? Hmm. Well, I'm charmed. I'm glad you came. Tell me more about yourself. Oh, really? You do that for work? And how is that going for you? It sounds like a pretty hard job. I don't think I would be able to survive that. I mean, I'm a people person. A man of the people, I should say. To an extent. But after a while, it just makes you so mad you could... Bite. Am I right? Haven't you ever been in that type of mood? You could just bite into someone, something? <laughs> Well, you're one of the good ones. I wish I could get into what I really do, but let's just say it's a family secret. <laughs> I wish I was in the mafia. I mean, have you heard of this guy named Don Lucifero? I hear he's quite the badass. I haven't heard from him as of lately. I hope nothing bad happened to him. Oh my, where are my manners? I completely forgot to ask you for your name. How rude of me. 
Forgive me, please. What is your real name? I only know you by your screen name. Wow, what a lovely name. It fits you. A lovely name for a lovely woman. Well, I do have to apologize in advance, but there is a secret I've been holding back. Well, if I may be blunt, I do have an ulterior motive for inviting you here. Hmm, well, I know what you are, but you have no idea what I am. I know that you're a vampire hunter, and I would really, really want someone like you on my side. Well, the side of the vampires, of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, 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 no, 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 no. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I've asked my butlers to hide your purse with all your everyday carry. So, now it's just you and me. Shh, shh, shh. Come now. Be a good girl and just submit to me. Be my princess. And together, we can rule this city. <laughs> well, when I thought this out, I didn't think it would be this difficult. So, I give you three options. Option number one, I tie you to a chair with your arms tied behind your back and take your blood by force. Option two, you fight me, and I pin your arms to the wall and bite into your neck as you struggle against me. Or option three, you willingly submit to me and let me take your blood and make you my princess. So, what's it going to be? Hmm, <laughs> so be it. Gotcha. Shh, don't scream. It's okay. Be my princess isn't a bad thing. I mean, can't you just imagine it? Me waking up to you, scooching in close to your ear, and whispering, Good morning, my princess. Mm. Come on, don't struggle. You have your arms pinned against the wall and held over your head. I don't want to damage you any more than I need to. Please. Well, I guess there is an option four. I make you give me your blood another way. Look into my eyes. Stare deep into my crimson colored eyes. You're mine, you're mine, you're mine. You're mine. You belong to me, you belong to me, you belong to me, you belong to me. You're mine, you're mine, you're mine. You belong to me, you belong to me, you belong to me. You will be my princess. There's a good girl.
into my arms. Drink from me, my princess. <clears throat> there we go. That's that's it. enough. 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 Uh. <laughs> it's okay. It hurts at first. But soon, you'll feel things you never thought possible. Just let it take you, my princess. <sighs> Wake up, darling. Congratulations. You've just entered into the world of the undead, and soon you will learn to appreciate the benefits of being my princess. <clears throat> <laughs> hmm. I miss the sensation of hugging. Hmm. Just let me stroke your hair, run my fingers through the strands. I love you, my princess, my vampire princess, good girl. 